Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another anime fighting simulator. What happened to my eyebrows, dude? What the heck? <laughs> Why do I have two of them? Rally that. In the end. All right, so recently we know that the brand new update just dropped for Anime Fighting Simulator. So obviously, um, in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to beat the bosses that did come out. Uh, a little bit briefness of where to go around the map because I know things have changed quite a lot. And just pretty much the update. Uh, before I begin this video, guys, make sure you subscribe because we hit 200K, but we wanna keep going. We wanna hit 300K this year. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for 200K. I can't believe we actually did it. I'm sorry. We are sorry. What do you do? You didn't do nothing, man. But die. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, he dies. You stay. You stay alive, okay? All right, so uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. All right, so let's head into this part of the map, guys. When you spawn into the game, you'll probably notice this crazy new building. Um, If you guys watched my previous video where Marm introduced the update to us, where the staff team was there, you probably should know what's going on, but let's say you didn't watch that video. You were a little lazy. You didn't care about it. Anyways, well, the champions are right here. You can go to the pod to grab your champions. They cost 5k. Yes, I will do a video on all these champions later today. It's pretty much tell you which is the best one. Obviously, like, Boros is pretty darn good. Um, so all you guys gotta do is... Uh-oh. So you guys probably noticed that um, maybe the leaderboard's a little wonky. You don't see me on top. You see these random people on top. Don't worry about it. It's just visual bug right now. And we're gonna go out here. All right, this is just the elephant in the room. You're probably trying to fly right now, and you're like, what? What? Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? So if you guys do go to the skill bar, uh, go to powers, go to durability, go drag it all the way back right here. It does teach you a new way to fly right now. Allow players to fly. Space plus two times W. So pretty much for most of your devices, it'll be jump and then double tap four two times. And this is how you fly. This is how you get off of fly too. Space, double tap two times. You fall down. So hopefully this will help you guys out. This teaches you guys how to fly. And we're going to run towards the Red Bridge where Titan Island used to be. If you guys don't know that, then hopefully this guy has helped you guys out. And we're going to fly past Nomu. All right. Pass all the way where Titan Island used to be. I know Titan's not here anymore, so it's really confusing. But these are the two portals that will bring you guys to Dimension 3 and Dimension 2. It does show which training areas are here. Everything from 1 trillion to 100 QD. You go to Dimension 2. If there's anything beyond uh, 1 QN to the highest level training area in Dimension 3 for Beast King, which is Kaido. Uh, we're going to start with Dimension 2. So if you guys want to bring along a friend, you do have to create a group, invite them. And you can only bring five right now. You can never just click into the portal and just go on through. We're going to fight Broly first. All right, so here we are in the brand new uh, Dimension 2 map. And if you go outside right now, you'll notice training areas like this. One trillion physical strength. It has been moved here. Uh, but we came to this map to fight the boss. So we're going to find our original spawn area. And we're going to go fight Broly boss. So first off, guys, go to your power section. And you, you want to screw all the way to Chakra. These are the skills that are going to give you the best chance fighting the bosses. Kamehameha, Ice Blast, Spirit Bomb, Rasen Shuriken. Multiple Bomb, Rasen Shuriken, and Tail Beast Bomb. All these skills have a very long cast time. Something you generally would be annoyed with when you're fighting a person but an actual person could just take so long to load like this you see that uh, wait where's it where did, there it is you know how long it takes but that's what's going to keep you in here for quite a while so make sure you grab all those skills and equip them on and then go to your settings as well and walk speed jump power max them out and if you can't fight this boss with a friend i much prefer that because solo is so much harder yeah, it, it, it is it is not easy. Especially Broly. He he's I think Broly is the strongest boss out there right now. Even in the one in the next dimension. Alright, let's go. Double jump and There we go. Non-stop bombardment on the boss. And when you're falling down, jump again. Yeah, holy crap, you hurt so much. Watch your cooldowns, like, don't super spam them like I did. Because if you do, then you're going to fall down too fast and you're going to get knocked out. Oh, God. Like, if you guys have the chakra healing game pass right now, make sure you're actually chakra main meditated mode. And that should give you a bit of an upper hand. And even so, it's still super hard to solo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch out for that. That hurts so much. And then, again, finish it up. Come on. Aggressive play, aggressive play, let's do it. 
Did we get it? Yes. We didn't get a power, but we beat it. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Okay, so I should have brought this up earlier. Um, if you can fight the boss, there's one champion here amongst all of these that actually helps you quite a lot. And it's the most shocking ones. So I'm going to roll this first because you're not going to expect that. <laughs> there it is, guys. Yes, Sakura. Why? Because amongst all of these champions right now, the one that actually gives you a heal, gives you a heal, is the auto train 20% of your chakra multiplier, every blah, blah, blah. But every five seconds, you get 3% of your health. Sakura is the one. And hopefully you guys have already gotten some champion one way or another. And there it is. There she is. She, she's a healer. And if you guys didn't know how champions work already, like every so-and-so ticks, for example, it says four seconds, she's going to give you six billion chakra or whatever your multiplier is. Okay, we're done here with this map. So we're going to go on to dimension three. Guys, go to Master Roshi, leave the building, and we're going to go take a left. This is where you want to go from dimension two to three. And if you fly towards this way, you'll see it's next to the border. You see dimension three portal and under below is dimension one portal. I, I know it's a little confusing. Like you guys need to get used to this new system and just go on in. Bring your Sakura with you. Don't forget. All right, folks. And here we are in the brand new map dimension three. This is literally one of the best maps ever. It looks really good. It's ginormous and it has so many training areas. It has the white barrier ship, which is brand new. And it has the marine port where everyone's super hype about. Wait, what is that? Is that a fruit? Oh, it's. It's Gomo Gomo. Yeah, there's a new devil fruit too, and you guys want to pick it up. And this is another one of these towers too. Heaven's Arena. Anyways, we're going to go back uh, immediately because we don't want to spend too much time on the actual training areas. I might have to actually do a video entirely brand new video on, on this part. Oops, I meant that here. All right, folks, same thing, guys. Go check your power section. Make sure you have the most amount of these chakra skills up that, you know, pretty much buys you the most time in the air. Kaido boss is going to come in a big bang. Okay, let's go. You see my bar on the left, right me right side? All those cool skills are pretty much put on cooldown. Kaido boss is so much easier than the Broly boss. So if those of you who are wondering, oh dude, I'm farming this boss, right? And it keeps getting harder because every time you beat it, you get the tier two, tier three, tier four. I'll tell you this guys. If you can't beat the next tier, pretty much just drop back down again, change server, and you'll find most likely another tier. Or if you're in a VIP server, just keep resetting the server. You keep getting your first tier boss. And even though the drop rate is lower, I still think it's worth fighting a boss you can beat compared to a boss you can't beat, even though it's a higher chance. Alright folks, so after nine hours of farming, I pretty much got all of uh, the boss skills, except for one. Uh, but you guys will see it in a bit. First off, the Broly boss actually drops three skills. Legendary Super Saiyan, this one right here, where you can transform 45% damage reduction. Yo, and he glow all over. Uh, and then the next one is Energy Burst, which is an explosion through the body where Broly uses. And it's supposed to absorb energy, then expels its energy and pushing people back. And this one right here. All right. And then we have energy barrage where it's pretty much just shooting energy balls. I'm just going to shoot it. <laughs> All right, there, shoot. And then it blows up. So, so that's a straight scale move. That's pretty good. So the kind of boss doesn't have any transformation, but it does have four skills total. The first one being Conqueror's Hockey. Using your willpower, emit it with so much power, you stun and damage other players. So that's one right here. I think you're supposed to stun players. Okay, I'm sorry guys. I just don't have a dummy for me. Right now, the torment. And then the next one is barrier. This barrier skill right here, the one that we thought was a devil fruit. All right, barrier, barrier. And it spits out. Okay. And the one I couldn't unlock is the meteor shower, guys. I just can't. Nine hours, not working, man. And then we have the sword skill right here. Blade whirlwind. I'm pretty sure this is from Zoro's. I could be wrong, but it's definitely a one piece. Because all these skills are supposed to be one piece ones if you got it from Kaido. Axe out and spin. Yeah, it's supposed to blow people up. Ends with so much speed and force, a whirlwind is created, sending players up and causing damage. Exactly. And uh, that's pretty much the skill. Oh yeah, don't forget guys, there's also a Tatara. <laughs> if you go to Kaneki, there's a Tatara for 2%, which I actually got right here. This big guy. I mean, I don't think he's really useful versus the bosses, unless you guys found out otherwise, but I think he's too bulky and he actually just gets in the way. 
Even though it's a really cool fire effect. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I'll probably come out with like a Gogeta trolling video sometime this week too. If you guys want to see that. Go around trolling people or busting people. Blowing people up. Yeah. I better go find that stupid devil fruit by the way. Alright, bye guys!